Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In previous session, we have discussed how to read the data in ASP.NET Core MVC by using edivo.net. So this is the example we discussed in the previous session and we, and we have created all the stored procedure related to this example. We have created all the stored procedures to perform the CRUD operations. Before continuing with this session, please watch previous video. Here I am going to create one action method to inside the data public it is going to be create and here first we have to design the viewport for here it will be empty view right click add view create a empty razor view this is going to be create create the same example we are going to do it with edivo.net that's why i'm not going to explain about this view part view part already we explained in the code first approach session here i'm going to change my project name it is going to be edivo.net and my model will be employee model so this is only one change remaining things we no need to change because we are going to use same things here here we have to create another action method for post the data here it will receive the employee model I'll make it as model here from controller to data access layer we have to pass the model for that we have to create one method public it will return the bool insert this is going to be method to insert the data so here we will receive the data as model here if it is successfully inserted we will return as true otherwise we will return as false using here we have to pass connection we have to get the connection string Here we have to pass command type. So this is our stored procedure name to insert the data. I'm copying from here. Here we have to pass parameters along with values. First parameter will be first name. Which will be received from which we can receive it from model dot first name last name then date of birth is not required finally we have to open the connection to perform the insert operation execute non query and once it is executed we have to close the connection 
so finally we have to return if it is successfully inserted we have to return as true otherwise we have to return as false for that i will declare a local variable here which is id 0 so i am going to store the id here as once it is data is successfully inserted we will get as 1 otherwise we will get as 0 here we have to return the boolean value true or false for that if id is greater than 0 then i am going to make it as true otherwise it will be false so this is i am going to return so now we can call this from our controller go to the controller from here we can call our insert method so before inserting the data we have to check the model state is valid or not if model state is valid first we will check if it is not valid then we have to display the error message to the user model data is invalid so this is the message we will display to the user else we have to insert the data so which will be returning true or false we will store it in result dal dot insert here we have to pass model suppose if it is not inserted then we will return as false in that case we have to return message as error message unable to save the data this is the message i am going to display and i will return to the same view else i can save it in temp data that is success message employee details saved this is a message we are going to display if it is inserted successfully so finally i am going to return to if it is successfully inserted then i am going to redirect into index view now run the application click on create employee button so this is the view for creating a new employee so without entering any data we will try to submit it so all the validations are working fine I'm submitting here so employee details saved this bootstrap alert we have implemented in the previous sessions also we have implemented after seconds this should close automatically that is not working because we have to implement our JavaScript functionality here if you close it here it will be closed for that we have to call one JavaScript function which we have to implement it here in previous example we have implemented in the code first approach so I am going to take it from that so this is the custom JS we used I will copy it from here and I can paste it inside our advo.net project I will paste it here we set the timeout for 5 seconds after 5 seconds this alert will be closed automatically this we have to add it inside the shared layout folder we have to go here and you can drag it you can drop it here we will run the application again
Now this alert should close automatically after 5 seconds. Yeah, it's closing and it's working fine. We will create another employee. So this message will be displayed and after 5 seconds it will close automatically and if you want you can close manually also. So that's it for today. If you like this video please like and subscribe and next video we are going to discuss about updating ASP.NET Core MVC by using edivo.NET stored procedures.